Well, friends, Donald Trump is now on record as promising a bloodbath if he's not reelected. How should the criminal justice system respond? Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So friends, can we talk about Donald Trump's recent bloodbath comments and the implications of a defendant who was on pretrial release in four felony cases promising that the country will experience a bloodbath if he doesn't get what he wants? Let's start with the new reporting. This from Rolling Stone. Headline, Trump says there will be a bloodbath and elections will end if he isn't reelected. And that article begins, Donald Trump appeared at a rally hosted by Super PAC Buckeye Values in Dayton, Ohio on Saturday, supporting Bernie Marino, the Senate candidate vying for the GOP primary who Trump endorsed. Of course, it would not be a Trump rally without him spouting off about the election he lost being rigged and talking in near apocalyptic terms should he not be reelected this year. Quote, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. Close quote. He warned. Later, he went as far as ominously implying that voting as we know it won't exist if he loses. Quote, I don't think you're going to have another election in this country if we don't win this election. Close quote. Trump said. Now, friends, let me circle back to the bloodbath comment, because Trump tried to walk it back later, saying he was really talking about what would happen to the auto industry if he wasn't elected. But his words belie that. Indeed, they contradict that BS walk back. After he kind of yammered and slurred his way through something about the auto industry, he then pivoted. And let's go to his words again. He said, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. So when he was talking about the bloodbath for the country, that would result if he wasn't elected. When he said that'll be the least of it, he was setting aside his yammering about the auto industry. He pivoted. He's like, oh, the auto stuff, that'll be the least of it. If I'm not elected, there will be a bloodbath. What was he doing there, friends? Remember, Proud Boys, stand by, right? Now it's, it will be a bloodbath. There will be a bloodbath for the country. Do you all hear me? Am I sending the signal clearly enough? Do what I say. There will be a bloodbath. This is no different than come to D.C. on January 6th will be wild. If you don't fight like hell, you won't have a country anymore. Stand by. There will be a bloodbath. You hear my command, MAGA? This from a man who is on pretrial release in four felony cases, two federal and two state. You know what the law provides, friends? You probably do if you've watched any of my Justice Matters videos over the past six months or a year, the law provides that if somebody is in a pretrial status in a felony case and that person poses a risk to the community or even one person in the community, that person is to be detained pending trial. That person should be revoked on release and should sit his big orange butt in a jail cell 
pending trial to neutralize the threat. He is a threat to everyone in the United States of America. He is a threat to democracy. He launched an attack on January 6th against our democracy, and it turned out to be a deadly attack. And he launched it with far less inflammatory language than he just used at the rally on Saturday. There will be a bloodbath in this country. Do you understand me? That's what he just said. He's actually ratcheted up the recklessness and the violence of his rhetoric. And he's on pretrial release in four felony cases. Will the criminal justice system writ large just receive this latest deadly threat with a yawn? Or will they apply the law as it was intended to be applied? If somebody poses a danger to the community, to even one person in the community, they are to be detained pending trial. Can you imagine, friends, if somebody was on pretrial release in, let's say, a homicide case? And while on pretrial release, that person said, if I don't get what I want, there's going to be a bloodbath. Do you know how quickly that person would be revoked on pretrial release, release and put in pretrial detention as the law provides? The law needs to be prodded into wakefulness, you know, on the danger presented by Donald Trump. I don't care if he's a former president. I don't care if he's a candidate. He shouldn't be allowed to endanger our nation and her people and our democracy with this kind of violence violence-inducing rhetoric, more reckless than his rhetoric on January 6th. This is institutional insanity. If the institutions of government just receive this with a shrug. I mean, do what the law provides. Revoke Donald Trump on release. Detain him pending trial. And for gosh sakes, let our country begin to move forward again. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.